Welcome to the DraftKings Daily Trot. I'm Big Italy 42. He is Christopher Ruckus at Space Jam 23 DFS. Talking about tonight's little four-game slate of action. And if you're talking about cash games, there's really not very many options. You've got Garrett Richards uh, as a minus 143 favorite at home against Seattle. He's 9,400. Uh, Michael Waka, 10,200, gets the Cubs. A little tougher matchup for him, but he's minus 160. But the guy that I like as well, if you're not paying for Waka, I kind of prefer him because he's got a bigger discount. Andrew Kashner against Arizona. Arizona also only has a three-run team total. Kashner comes in at 8K, $2,200 difference for Michael Waka. So those are really the only guys that I'm considering at all in cash games. And I think that Kashner makes for a nice GPP option as well because there's a, the perception that Arizona is an elite offense, but they're really barely average against right-handed pitching. And Kashner's actually pitched pretty well recently. Yeah, and let's remember too, we're on a we're on DraftKings, so we need two of them. So I think you're gonna have to roll Kasher on at least one line. Um, and then Waka or Richards on the other one. I would, you know, there's a couple interesting routes you could go. Um, let me just pull some a stat up here real quick. The price of what is the price of uh, of Hap tonight? Hap is seventy two hundred. See, he's still, that's like, I feel like a little bit too much, um, a little bit too much for him. Yep. When you can get Kasher for eight, honestly, I think Kasher Richards is going to be a super popular combo. Um, and there's really not a ton of hitters I like tonight either. So, yeah, I, I, I think you, you can't go wrong with Richards, Waka, Kashner, two or three. Pick two or three and then move. Yeah. And then uh, your other tournament options, as much as I despise him as an actual pitcher, Jeremy Hellickson. Actually yes. pitched pretty well and just mowed down these uh, Padres in his last start. Seven Ks, two earned over six innings. So you don't necessarily expect that repeat performance. But, I mean, this is just a really bad offense right now. And any anybody who's a decent pitcher going against them, you got to consider. Um, I really don't like any of these other guys. Chris Tillman's been nothing short of terrible. Um, Don Roach is the ultimate contact pitcher. Really not a big fan of his. Cody Anderson. No, no, hold on. Before you continue, the only thing about Don Roach is he's 4.4K. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's a contact pitcher. He's not going to strike many people out. The Cardinals are a contact team, contact hitting team in St. Louis. Um, it's a weird. I mean, I'm not recommending Don Roach, but I don't. I, I wouldn't blame you if it was, let's say, a full slate with cores to roll Roach because if he has just a mediocre game, you know, you could see you could see some 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 points out of him. I mean. I, I don't imagine he implodes against this team just because I, I very rarely see St. Louis just go off. Yeah. Like, St. Louis isn't that team that's going to drop an eight- or nine-run game on you. It just rarely happens. Yeah, especially with their injuries. I mean, Nomad Holiday and uh, Nomad Adams. So that's two of the only power bats they have. I mean, really, the only power bat you're worried about is Jason Hayward. So And and he's like, you know, he bats. Where is he batting now in the order? He's been around fifth or sixth recently. He was seventh, so he moved up a little bit. He was like seventh every night. Honestly, I don't think that's a bad uh, GPP play. I mean, if he goes five innings, gives up, you know, two runs, get two strikeouts, not there's not anything big, but it, it's it's an interesting play. Yeah, especially if you're trying to stack hitters, I I, I could see that that being a viable option in your tournaments. Um, catcher options: Matt Weeters has got to be your top play. Gets the rookie Cody Anderson making his second start ever. Another contact pitcher. Weirs has been hot, homered again last night. Um, he's a great option. Other guys. Weeders looking... played last night. What's that? Weeders played last night. Oh, sorry, not last night. He homered in his last game, I should say. That was one last of my game. mistakes. Yeah, so that's another thing. Be careful. I read a beat writer this morning. Beat writer is this the NBA? I read a, a, a Twitter writer today. Um, Weeders has something going on with his back, and then also with that weather. So just be careful on that, which kind of stinks because I love him tonight. It, 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 it forces me to pivot down to, uh, and I mean, you can't take Jan Gomes probably because of the weather. So where, where are you looking? Are you looking at, like, Yadi Molina and Derek Norris? I mean, I prefer Norris. I mean, he's got higher upside, I would say, because Molina just really just has no power now. But uh, an interesting tournament option is Miguel Montero, 2,800 against Michael Waka, because Waka is probably going to be a pretty popular play. And uh, it's not okay. a great matchup, but Montero is pretty good against righties. He's really cheap, 2,800. Yeah, I love that call. That's a good call. Good tournament option is uh, Chris Iannetta. Hits lefties really well. 
probably gonna have a really low lineup spot, but I mean, obviously, you can't be uh, can't be too choosy with your hitters on a, such a short slate tonight. No, yeah. beggars can't be choosers. Exactly. First base options. Albert Pools got to be your top option against Jay Happ. Forty eight hundred, up to twenty three homers on the season. Just continues to crush the ball. Um, I mean, he's he's just in a great spot, and his batting average of balls in play is still around two thirty. So I mean, he's just gonna keep going up. It seems like. So he's got to be your top option. Um, I love Anthony Rizzo in tournaments, as I always do. Gets Michael Waka. And then Brandon Moss, first base or outfield eligibility, gets the terrible Chris Tillman. Homered last night, $4,000. I think he's uh, one of my favorite tournament options in any position. Yeah, my favorite tournament options uh, a little bit more expensive than him. It's Chris Davis um, against Cody Anderson. At, uh, it's in, at home, right? It's in Camden? In Camden, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's in Camden. Um, love him. Obviously, I think your top option, no price. It's still got to be Goldschmidt. I mean, even against Kashner, right? it's like there's so much. Is there? Good, I I just feel like there's going to be a lot of salary tonight. So yeah. I think he's your top hitter overall on the slate with weather, everything. I think he's he's got to be your top hitter on the slate, right? Uh, I, I I'm on Mike Trout as top overall, but uh, I, he's I, he's up right. there. he's up there. Yeah, no, sure. no, no. I I will go Mike Trout too. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, Goldschmidt having a hell of a season, so he's he's always in play for you. And then I, of course, throw in Carlos Santana, um, another guy who homered last night. Um, hasn't had a great season, but as we know, still has power. Should have a nice lineup spot against the terrible Chris Tillman tonight as well. Um, second base, it's Jason Kipnis, and then it's everybody else. If you ask me, once again, picking on Chris Tillman. Um, Jimmy Paredes is kind of getting really pricey, forty three hundred now for a guy that doesn't have a whole lot of power. Um, Colton Wong is going to be your other popular option. Four thousand dollars against uh, your contact boy there and Donnie Roach. Yeah, you named all of them. I mean, maybe Johnny Giovatella, uh, maybe Robinson Cano, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, not a whole lot at second base. You're going to be paying up there, like you said, plenty of salary to go around. You should be able to get any anybody you really want. Um, speaking of salary, Manny Machado is really expensive at third base, fifty one hundred, but. You gotta like the spot for him. Um, you see three Baltimore bats, third base eligibility, and the top three there. And then uh, once again, tournament. If you're not playing Michael Walker, Chris Bryant, as we know, has just as high of upside, if, if not the highest, of anybody at third base. So you gotta look his way a little bit. And then David Freeze gets a lefty. Hasn't hit lefties particularly well this year, but throughout his career, hit lefties really well. So I think he's a good tournament option, also. Yeah, your top cash option though's gotta be Matt Carpenter. Yep. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's not going to score twenty. But he's also not going to score five. He's probably going to score eight to twelve. Yep. Um, he's perfect cash game option. He's fair price, four point one k. I mean that's fair. Uh, so yeah, and I mean you you nailed all the rest of them. I mean you want to go contrarian. I think you you hook Cano and Seager and Lomo um, against Richards tonight, and and stack you know with Waka. And somebody and Kashner, and you you stack against Richards. I think that makes for a contrarian stack tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. And if you want a really cheap guy that'll be low owned, Giovanni Urshela is twenty five hundred. We know Chris Tillman's got some pretty bad reverse splits, so um, tournament option only, but not a bad way to go at twenty five hundred. Um, shortstop, it's Johnny Peralta, and then it's everybody else thirty eight hundred. A lot of nights like this, short slates. He's been the go to. He's going to be popular again today, especially cash games. Um, if you're looking for tournament options, of course, J.J. Hardy, another guy who just hit a homer. He's at 3,500. Starling Castro's a guy I just really don't like that much as a player, but he's talented. 3,200, he's an okay option also. Yeah, I mean, Eric Ibar, maybe. There's just so many bad shorts. Uh, he, actually, Ibar didn't play. He left last night, didn't he? Yeah, they said he's got uh, hamstring tightness. Yeah, he, he hamstring may be out. Tightness too, and, and you don't run anyway, so... Johnny Peralta and Lindor, uh, that's really it for me. Um, I don't see a reason to play anyone else. I mean, no, Especially in cash games. I mean, you're playing Johnny Peralta, and then you're moving on to the next position. Yeah, and then you're going to the outfield. Yep. Where, uh, like we mentioned earlier, Mike Trout's your top option, of course. No surprise there. Nelson Cruz, if you're going against Richards, still has a nice price tag at $4,100. Uh, mentioned Brandon Moss. He's out here as well. And then uh, Mike Brantley, 4400 People may not be playing him as much as they should because – he hasn't hit particularly well recently, but Chris Tillman's been one of the worst starters in the majors this year, so I'm still getting quite a bit of Michael Brantley tonight. Yeah, Michael Brantley, great spot. Um, my, he's not cheap. I do like him though. I, I don't mind a, a Padres outfield sack with Kent Venable and Justin Upton against Hellickson. I think that's an interesting play. 
Um, we already talked about Jason Hayward. Um, David Peralta is still kind of cheap against Kashner, 3.2K. I mean, that's not a bad value. Uh, and then maybe, I think my, my contrarian option in the outfield, 4.1K, Dexter Fowler against Waka, and maybe hook in Rizzo and Fowler with Montero, uh, running Richards and Roach, and um, and doing whatever else you want with the bats and fading Waka on that lineup. I think that's an interesting route. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because like we said, fading the chalk is going to be a nice way to go in tournaments. And then uh, a couple Baltimore bats, Travis Snyder, Chris Parmley, both hitting the ball pretty well, get the, the young pitcher. And I think those guys are decent options also. Outside of that, if you're looking for really cheap, you shouldn't need really cheap tonight because there's plenty of salary to go around. I really don't like any of the cheap outfielders tonight. Below Parmley, yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, with that, that's going to wrap things up. Find us on Twitter at DF Cafe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all our great content at dailyfantasycafe.com.